Are you waiting for daddy? Are you waiting for a haircut? Are you waiting for a bath? Are you waiting for breakfast? On a scale one to 10, ask me how much I wanted to go on an RV trip. 10 being the least, 10. 10 out of 10 did not want to come on an RV trip. Ask me on a scale one to 10, 10 being no, how much I wanted to pull a second rig, pull the four wheelers with the Suburban while Joel towed the RV. 100, I 100% 100 did not feel like I was physically or mentally able to drive the trailer separately. Now that we've been here for a few days on a scale one to 10, ask me if I'm happy we came. 100. Someone must have broken my heart Like really torn it apart In another life In another life Someone must have really me up Like caused my heart to stop In another life In another life Otherwise I don't know why I keep coming back to this Keep fighting all of it Don't trust that there's love to get I don't know why, I just can't believe in it Like somehow I can't commit, guess I have to admit Yeah, I got an issue with love, yeah, I got an issue with trust Really better open it up oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I got an issue with love, yeah, I got an issue with trust Worry that it won't be enough oh, oh, yeah. Someone must have made me feel bad but who I was and what I had to give Oh Someone must have told me a lie Really played with my mind in another life Otherwise I don't know why I keep coming back to this Keep fighting all of it Don't trust that there's love to give Show it trust, really about it open and Oh, yeah, I got an issue with love. Yeah, I got an issue with trust. There's an issue with love. The only reason, and I reiterate, the only reason I said yes was because Joel never asks me to do something that I don't want to do. If, if, if he knows this, so this week I've had a fever and I have been really sick. He has not allowed me to come up to the house. He's like, you're not driving. You're staying home. You need to rest. I want you better. <clears throat> and and he just, he will, he tells me not to make dinner. Just, he does not make me do things if it's even the slightest bit out of my comfort zone. And when he asked me, he's like, do you think you'll feel better by, <clears throat> you know, in a couple of days? You think you're going to feel better? I, th I think you can do this. I think you're going to want to come. Joel wanted to come because I think Joel 
Joel's spirits needed this just as much as anybody else's. In so many ways, it makes me feel so guilty because I wish all my siblings could get away. I wish that Julie and Ellie and Bo and my parents, they need a little time away. Everyone needs a little time away, so I feel guilty that I'm taking that time away. And then also, I, I love showing my kids a good time, especially when they're sad, but I wish I could bring all kids with me. I wish all of the kids got to enjoy this. And my hope and desire is that that will happen one day. There is hope that one day everyone involved, if you're not an idiot, you know what I'm saying, that one day things can be normal and fun again. day I laid here and watched a movie. By the time I had watched a full movie, just laid here and truly decompressed by myself um, and seeing the kids how happy they were, that really started to kind of bring me out of my funk. Cody came in and he had the biggest tears in his eyes and he goes, mom, I can't tell you thank you enough for bringing us here. I said, why? I said, why do you have tears in your eyes? And he just said, I just love seeing you and dad not sad. I love that me and the kids aren't fighting. And I love being here with my friends and just being outside. And I think it really hit me that I really need to get myself together so that my kids aren't suffering through this unnecessarily. Because this is affecting them big. This is affecting them big and I don't need to add to that. And so I need to put on a more brave face than I already am. And this is exactly what we needed to pull all of us. We all needed to pull ourselves out of this funk that we've been in for good reason, you know, but, but I think that it wouldn't be good to stay in it. I think we needed to feel it. I think we needed to live through it. And and I know that I kind of feel like I'm repeating myself, but it I think I have to. I think I have to repeat myself in order to get myself to do it. Go, go, go! I cannot believe 
front brakes. Oh good my job, gosh. Good coach, coach. The sweetest thing was watching Cody guide oh, yeah. Cody through that, or Boston I through did. that. Cody did. Go, can you get over there? <gasps> he's going down, he's going down. Stop, 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 here I had three separate kids come to me and say why aren't you gonna film this are you gonna film this and I told them that I wasn't going to and Boston cried and Lincoln was like but I want to see what all the things that I can do I want to look back at this video and and Cody's the one that kind of got mad and he said why he said why do we not get to do this anymore and I thought you know you're right. Why don't we? Why can't we? Why do I feel like I can't? And they were pissed. Not only were they sad, but they were pissed. And they said, no, we want you to film this. We're going to be mad if you don't. And so I really did. I wasn't planning on filming the trip. And I definitely have filmed it not quite in a way that I normally would. But... Um, I think it's really nice that the kids want these videos. I'm so glad that our friends invited us on this RV trip. I'm grateful that they just kind of surrounded us and didn't talk about a thing. We didn't talk about a thing. We just enjoyed being outdoors, enjoyed our kids playing night games. Oh, I wish you, I wish, I mean, it's pitch black when the kids are playing night games, but Why? those- Because the moon is so bright. You can see your shadows through the moon. Yep. The moon is the only light they have, and it's not something that I could ever capture. And the you fire. Would, and the fire, too. Yeah. You hear? Like, they're just, their enthusiasm for being here is just, it is what has, I think, really made me feel like a human again. This trip has made me feel like I'm human again. And Joel and I both, we were able to reconnect in a way that we haven't for, you know, since this has all happened. And 
even though it also takes on a different vibe. I never knew that your emotions could be damaged so hard and so deeply. And there's a few people here that they've gone through some very serious things and listening to their stories and just seeing how they just have worked through it and are able to be happy on the other side. It's a process and and I if I waited to start filming until the process was, was was over, I would never start filming again. And so I it feels really good to film. There's a lot of people that have some opinions on this, but if if I didn't want to do it, I wouldn't do it. But filming has always felt very good to me. And so this feels really good to me. I think this vlog feels really healing to me. If you guys enjoyed the video, I love hearing your positive comments because they outshine all of the negative ones. And for me right now, that's really important. So I appreciate those of you that do, I really do. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.